Hey artists, it's Miss Pape here. Let's talk all things paint today. In order to paint in the art room, we've got to make sure we're following those procedures to keep my art room safe and clean and keep our projects looking nice and neat. Let's get started. Our first procedure we want to talk about is our leading artists. Remember, leading artists in the art room are responsible for a few different things. When it comes to paint, leading artists are the only ones who can grab paint cups with water. Remember to always fill them about halfway up paint brushes for each of your neighbors, as well as paper towels. Leading artists are also the only ones that can clean the paint cups and the paint brushes. The reason we rely on our leading artists to do these jobs is because we can't have whole classes at the sinks. We've only got four and sometimes there's 20 kids in a class. So in order to keep us safe and keep us spread out, leading artists are responsible for staying at the sinks. That does not mean you can never wash your hand at the sink. Of course, you can always stay nice and clean and tidy, but make sure that you're giving enough space to those leading artists that are taking care of their jobs because when it's your turn to be a leading artist, you want that same respect so you can get the work done as well. Now, my leading artists, whenever it is your time to clean throughout the school year, remember each of you gets a shot at this, we wanna make sure my sink never looks like this. If you take a look, my paint brushes are everywhere, the water cups are all over, there's no room for anything to dry out. We wanna make sure that we are doing our part to keep my sinks nice and neat and clean. If you take a look at this example of a sink, all the paint brushes are nice and in order. They are all upside down so the brushes and the bristles can get dry over time. The water cups are spread out. They're not stacked in each other. They are all laid out nice and neat. This is what a beautiful sink should look like and this is what we strive for here in the art room. Make sure it looks like this after every time we paint in Miss Pape's class. The last job of our leading artist also includes wiping down our tables. Remember, we keep our paper towels back on Miss Pape's rainbow cart in the corner of her classroom. Looks just like this. Make sure if you are a leading artist that once your whole table has been cleaned up, you grab your paper towel, you wait by your table, and you wait for your teacher, most likely Miss Pape or sometimes a guest teacher, to spray your table with your sanitizer. We never grab the sanitizer ourselves. That is a teacher job. Make sure you're being respectful of your leading artists and helping them get the table clean so they can tidy up and wipe it down when the time comes. Now, while our leading artists are busy taking care of their jobs, cleaning up our water cups and our paintbrushes in the sink, my other artists at their table, we are really counting on you guys to take care of the rest so your leading artists can do their job. You'll notice a lot of times that friends will use the lids of our paint trays to maybe mix some colors to practice out before they actually use them on their artwork. In order to do that though, we have to make sure that these lids stay clean for our next group. If you ever close a lid that's full of paint or water, it will ruin my paint trays over time. If your water cups are still at your table, you can use your water cup to get a little bit of water on a paper towel. Now you don't want this to be too wet, it'll just make a huge mess. Dip it just a bit and you're gonna use that white paper towel to go right over top, spreading out that paint, making it easier to get up. Don't forget to get in the cracks of the actual paint side as well, not just the lid. We want to make sure that these last us a long time, and that's only going to happen if we take care of them very well. Now, when you're ready, you can flip over and use the other side of your paper towel, the dry side, to dry up that. Because again, even if it's not a whole lot of paint, if it's got even a little bit of water in there, that can ruin our paint trays as well. So spend the extra time to dry them out, both the lid and the paint tray themselves. A lot of times you guys can work as a team and decide, okay, I'm gonna use the wet paper towel, I'll get the dry paper towel. Whenever you're done, close them up and these will go back here right on my paint shelf every single time. Now keep in mind when you're walking with your paint trays, your paint could still be wet. So when we're walking with them, we never wanna look like Mr. A here and be silly with our paint trays. We wanna walk with them nice and flat, just like Miss Pullman, so with a big old smile, cause we know we did it the right way the first time. All right, artists, my very last point we wanna talk about is our drying rack. When you are done with your painting, make sure you use your pinchers to carefully bring your painting over to my drying rack. Notice that these students filled the rack completely before putting one down. That's important just because we wanna make sure to make good use of the whole drying rack. The more we can fit, the better. When you're done, please make sure that you carefully go over to the sink and wash your hands. And then you look over to Miss Pape for any directions following the project. You guys, thank you so much for paying such close attention. Let's get started painting.